Welcome to the Stateless Codecast. This is episode number 23 in our series, Getting Started with Rails 7. So in this video, we're going to take a look at some options we have for making the appearance of our uh, blog application that we've done uh, a little bit prettier. And uh, we're going to just uh, show some of the things that, uh, that we can do fairly easily. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is uh, just we're going to throw in simple CSS, which is a, a classless CSS framework. It should work out of the box for um, making the, the styling of the, um, the overall look of the blog a bit better. So we're going to um, install that. So if I were to actually do a, a full application, I would probably do something like Tailwind where, um, so click on docs, click on getting started. We're just gonna take this minified style sheet link. We're going to go into our uh, layouts application.html.erb and in the um, application here we're just going to pop in this style sheet it's getting it from a um, from a CDN but after you refresh the page you can see that our articles are uh, nicer looking the comments and the buttons and form elements are uh, just in, in my opinion nicer and prettier than what we had with the just out of the box unstyled version of the application so I've got that I'm also going to throw in so this is a bit more um, more involved, but I'm also just going to throw in a um, a CDN link to another CSS framework, animate.css here. And this really doesn't need to be split across multiple lines. Leave it as is. So, got our animate link here. And um, in order to demonstrate this, what I'm going to do is right now our our, our root route. If we go to config routes dot rb, is uh, just pointing to articles index. So I'm gonna create a controller called welcome with only index, and we're gonna point the root of the um, of the app there. So let me Rails G in the um, older versions of the. Rails getting started guide there it actually had a step to generate a welcome controller. So we've got our welcome controller here. It just has an index and then you can look at index.html.erb will add a link to here. pause and write this in. So we've got our very basic so far 
where we've got a link to our articles, a link to our posts, and a, an H1 tag here. So we'll save this. Let me take a look at routes. So we do have um, that get welcome index. So I should be able to, after restarting my server, should be able to go to slash index so there we go articles works posts works uh, and then I'm going to make use of this um, this animate uh, CSS and we're just going to have a uh, uh, an image underneath that will bounce so um, we'll going actually we're gonna uh, what I'll do is um, in so app assets images we don't have anything right now I'll move our uh, rails 7 and stateless code um, logo we've got there into uh, that images section I'll cop pause and copy that in so what we'll do here, so I've got the getting started rail 7, 5, 12 PNG. So we will add in here an image tag. gets us. And that gets us what we want. So just uh, the idea so that you can, uh, if you want, you can take something that uses classes like animate CSS or Tailwind, you can just kind of pop those classes into your um, Uh, your page and then you have the item there. I'll actually, instead of bouncing, I'll, I'll do a slide in left. So we'll change the second class there. I wonder if you can bounce and slide in left. I haven't done a lot with animate.css. We'll see what happens. Looks like it just takes the first one. Um, I need to do animate double underscore. So that did the slide in, but not the bounce. So now you know, and so do I. All right, so we've got that going. Um, I'm gonna now in the just general navigation type stuff. So in articles, index, that should be outside of the unordered list for one thing. to 
home root path. Also add that in posts index. Articles and this is our root path. I did not change the routing config. Restart our server. which you might not need to do in Rails 7 all. All right, so articles back to home, posts back to home, make sure our post item posts, back to home, articles, to an article. That does not have back to articles, so we'll add that in our show view. back to articles, back to home, so we can navigate around. So when I originally recorded this, I intended to include action text in the same video, but the overall video length wound up being too long. So I'm going to stop here and end the, this video. The commit that includes the changes for this will be at the end of the next video where we go into action text. So see you in the next video. Want to create your own Ruby gem but don't know where to start? Code along with me on the end-to-end -end journey of the Nerd Dice project. We'll configure and publish the gem, use GitHub Actions to trigger builds and tests, and create magic methods with Ruby metaprogramming that can roll any number of dice, all while using a test-driven approach. Go to statelesscode.com slash nerddicegem to level up. Thanks for watching this Stateless Code video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. Check out our growing library of videos on our social media channels. Follow us at Stateless Code and Taxation is Theft.